Greetings and welcome to SmartwatchTix.com. Hey, go Carbonox! This is the Carbonox Titan. We've already unboxed and reviewed this one for you, but we didn't go into a lot of detail about how you can set it up when you first get it to give it extra long battery life, to protect it, and to make sure your investment can last for a long time. That's the purpose of this video. Now, if you have one already, great. Grab it because you're going to want to follow along. If you've ordered one and it's coming in, bookmark this. Come back and watch it when you have it. Before you even turn it on, I would recommend. And if you haven't bought one yet, well, GoCarbonox.com will take you over to their website. And I got a a special coupon offer for you in the show notes that you can apply to get a discount on your overall purchase, not just for the Titan, but anything and everything you may order, which includes a few things you're going to see right now. Here's the watch. Under the cover in the box is where we begin. There's two things to call your attention to. The charging cable and this little puppy, which is the screen protector. Now, Let's start first with the watch itself and the charger because as in any smartwatch, really, the first thing you're going to want to do is unpack the charger and charge it up. The magnetic coupling attaches. You plug that into a USB outlet and you let it charge up. Now, why do you want to do that right away? Well, for a couple of reasons. You want to make sure you've got maximum power to it before you start. And you'll find, too, with these special batteries in the watches, that as you run them down and charge them up and run them down and charge them up, they'll start to calibrate themselves and give you the best indication of the power level. So it's best, before you begin, to start with a full charge. Now, I'm at 91% out of the box. Sure, you could turn it on and play with it, but really, plug it in, charge it to 100%, and then play with it. You with me? Now, after you've got it going and you're playing with it, don't just charge it up right away. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it run down. Get it down to around 10% or so, and then charge it back up again. Do that cycling a couple of times you're going to extend your battery life. Not really, but really. You're going to see the results of that extension overall in the fact that it'll last apparently a lot longer. But it's mostly because you've now calibrated the specific battery in your watch to the range that it can go through. Okay? Charge your watch, calibrate the battery by running it down, and then charging it up again. Now, back to this charging cable. Looks pretty simple, huh? Comes with one. Guess what? If anything happens to it, you're out of luck. I know, I know. You just run down to Radio Shack and pick up another one, right? No? No Radio Shack? How about Lafayette Radio? How many of you guys remember? Yeah, they went out of business a long time ago, along with Circuit City. I mean, where are you going to get a cable like this? Highly recommend that you pick up an extra cable. They're available when you purchase your watch. If you've already bought your watch, GoCarbonox.com. Put one of these in the shopping cart and buy it. If you haven't bought yet, there's a premium pack on all of these watches. I think you're going to might uh, want to pick that one up instead of just the watch. You'll get an extra charging cable and an extra screen protector. Actually, two of them, I believe. Why the screen protector? Let me show you. How many are familiar with this watch? Recognize it? Ever heard of Fitbit? Yeah. $300 watch. This one set me back when I first got it. It's the Fitbit Sense. Top of the line. Beautiful thing. Not anywhere close to as hardened and resistant from wear and tear as the Carbonox watches are. You see the scratches in my glass there? You see the scuff marks down here? This thing... I've worn it a lot. I'm not really rugged with this one. This is what I wear out to dinner and such. But still, it gets banged and scratched. And you can get all kinds of uh, artifacts, let's say, in the actual glass itself. Now, wouldn't it be a lot better if you had a piece of glass on top of it and that took the brunt of a hit or a scratch and not the actual glass itself? This is a Fitbit. This is the best glass you can get and still it'll scratch. With a screen protector, all you got to do is peel it off and put another one on. 
That's why, good idea to pick up not just one, but maybe two of these. They come as a set, and this is what you're going to put on your brand new Titan. Now, they're really easy to do. There's a side one and a side two. It's sticky stuff with a film over it. You get it all set. You put it in its right position. You peel it back. You peel the other one back, and you adhere it to the watch. Here's the things I want to point out during this uh, video for you. To get it to work best, it has to be super clean. You're going to want to really clean the surface of your watch. You're going to want to put a mask on. Remember COVID? Huh? You still got an old mask around? Put it on. Wash your hands. Clean any kind of specks of dust from your area. And make sure that you're very careful when you put it on that you don't embed a tiny piece of dust in there. You'll know if you try to smooth it out, if you see a little blemish or bubble, that's a piece of dust. Pulling it off and starting again is really hard. So take the time to do it right and get your screen protector on the watch. Oh, by the way, another reason why this thing can get banged and scratched and this one not so easy is you've got a nice bezel on here. They were smart enough to think about putting a large bezel at the top and a smaller one on the edge where you slide your finger back and forth. This, if it hits something, is going to give you better protection overall, but it's not going to stop you really too much from moving your fingers up and down. But most of the time we're scrolling this way. So really nice design overall to protect the screen, good glass on the screen, and even better if you get yourself the screen protector on there. So we've covered the charging cable, charging your watch, the screen protector, putting that on before you get out and get rugged. Ready to go deeper? All right. What do you think is the weakest part of this smartwatch? Hmm? Is it the case? No. The glass? No, we talked about that with the screen protector. What do you think is the most likely thing that will probably fail on this watch first? Any ideas, anybody? Yeah, the band. They are notorious in all these watches for failing over time, especially if you're going to be using this in a rugged environment. They're nice, they're rubberized, they're sturdy, and over time they do degrade and fatigue. If you have this puppy on and it gets hooked on something, what's going to bust? The band. Yeah. So, suggestion. Get yourself an extra band or two. They're easily removable. Check it out. But they are uniquely designed. You see how the inside part where it actually attaches is narrow and then widens out and goes into a contoured appearance that coordinates with the design of the watch. Where the heck are you going to get one of these? Yeah, from Carbonox. I know. <laughs> they got you covered. Um, the premium pack I'm talking about where they've got the the extra wire and the screen protectors. They also have, I think now, four bands that you get along with the watch. Whether you buy the black one or the army green one, uh, you can pick those things up at the same time. And I highly recommend, if you don't get the premium pack, at least get one extra band. It can even be the same black or green, whatever you want, but have a spare. You're going to get this watch for a long, long time usage, right? That's why you're buying premium to get the rugged design with all of the capabilities that it offers for you. You may as well take the extra investment to make sure that the weakest part of the actual watch is covered as well in case the band snaps, breaks, or otherwise you can't use it. You can indeed get a different uh, band anywhere if you want to. It's a it's a set size, which I got calipers here that I can show you quickly. You want to make sure that your watch is about a 19 millimeter. Usually they come in even numbers, so probably it's a 20. Yeah, 1945, 46. So it's a 20 millimeter band. And you could put a different band on here that's 20 millimeters. And if you do, you might want to get one of those solid steel type. And they have black steel. You've seen that or they're black, black painted and coated. And then you got yourself a really rugged watch. And then if it gets hooked, the band won't break. The watch will break. Your arm will break. Yeah. <laughs> but you won't have to worry of any about, about your watch. 
The next part then is, is some hints on using the watch. I'm opening it up, I'm swiping down, and here's where your controls are. Folks, to get the longest battery life out of your watch, what's the one factor that you can take care of, take charge of, and improve to get the longest life? The screen brightness. I know, I know, it's simple, it's easy. You just tap this, there's full bright. If you run this at full bright all the time and also set the time out for a long, long time, it's gonna use more power, quite a bit more power. 80 to 90% of the battery life can be eaten up just simply by brightening the screen. So, boom, go down to the lowest illumination that works for you. If you're indoors, look at this, this is fine. Maybe number two, that's all you're gonna need. Keep it down, keep the volume down. Mrs. Tix keeps telling me, honey, keep your volume down, I can hear you. Oh, but I love being loud. Anyway, it's a trade-off. This thing right here, I'm gonna brighten it up really good. This little thing that looks like a movie reel, it's great, use it. When you got your watch and you're doing your thing, go into theater mode. It says it turns off vibration and turns down the brightness. Vibration, yeah, eats battery. Brightness, yeah, eats battery. Come back here, it's now turned down. It's easy to see the watch. It's easy to do anything you want on it, and it's protected. When you come in here, turn it off and go bright. You're going outdoors, you can just toggle this on and off, the theater mode, and make it bright when it's outdoors, make it dim when it's indoors. Get in the habit of doing that and you'll get really nice long battery life out of your watch. Drain it down, charge it all the way up, take the extra charger, pack it in your backpack, take it with you, use your solar panel to charge it outdoors, your car adapter, whatever you need, wherever you get your USB power, you can have one charger at home, you can have your spare with you, and if either of them break, you've got your backup automatically. GoCarbonox.com. That's where you head over there. Pick yourself up the Titan um, special package that they've got that includes all those little items, and it's at a discount when you add them all together, and you can apply a discount coupon to take it down even further. So check the show notes for our current best coupon that you can use and uh, yeah pick one up i hope this video's helped if it has give me a thumbs up and we'll see you again soon thanks for watching gang